Mami me gusta cuando tú te mueves sensual Me tiene tan loco que no te dejo de pensar Cada momento contigo no puedo olvidar Y yo te quiero aquí Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So um, I've noticed that whenever I post a picture of me breastfeeding or just a picture of our kids that a lot of people have questions for me about either parenting or breastfeeding. So I decided to do a um, parenting slash breastfeeding Q&A for you guys. You guys have sent in a lot of questions, so I'm going to try to answer them the best I can. First question. Well, it's actually a question that a lot of people had is, does it hurt? Does breastfeeding hurt? I'm gonna be totally honest. I don't know if it's like this for every person that breastfeeds, but it hurts a lot. Like, giving birth hurts, but this is just, I think it's worse. Why do I say it's worse? Because it's a pain that will continue for at least two weeks. That is what happened with me. Um, it hurts because obviously your breasts are not used to sucking for, you know, a sucking motion for that many times a day. Um, so it, it will hurt. It will open up your breast. You may bleed. But what you got to do is just continue breastfeeding. And then after two weeks, it'll go away. And believe me, it's worth it. Because my babies were really fat, or so fat. And you know, it's healthy. And on top of that, I think it's easier, especially during the night times. I don't have to wake up to make a bottle. That is one of the main reasons why I wanted to breastfeed the first time and the second time. I'm not a person that likes to wake up. So I can just put the baby, you know, on my breast and then fall asleep right after. Um, someone asked, how do you juggle two kids at the same time and how do you give them attention? Um, it's not easy. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm still working on it to like have a certain schedule, which is very hard with two kids. It was easy with one kid. I had a strict schedule from the day he was born and it was very easy. But now with two kids, I still haven't figured it out yet because Sky is not as easy as days. Um, Sky just wants to sleep whenever she wants. She, she doesn't sleep at a certain time. That makes it hard. But um, when it comes to attention, you know, every time Sky sleeps, usually someone says, oh, make sure you sleep when the baby sleeps well. That only, you know, counts if you have one baby, if you have two babies. Yeah, when the baby sleeps, you have to give your other child attention. So that is what I do. When Sky sleeps, I either, you know, go sit in Daisy's room with him and play with, um, you know, his toys or paint or whatever he wants me to do, I'll do. Or watch TV with him, you know, that just kind of stuff that he likes. And I try, I try to leave Sky with her grandma, you know, for one or two hours because I'm still breastfeeding and she doesn't want the bottle. So I can't leave for a long period of time, but I can leave her with her grandma for one hour and then just take days with me, go to McDonald's or whatever, something fun with him so he can have his one on one time with his mom. Next question. Do I use a breast pump? I sometimes I do I don't do it often because Sky does not like bottles but I have tried it there was one time when Sky just didn't want to latch on 
my left breast, she prefers the right breast. So if she doesn't want to latch on, that means the milk is going to continue to build up and it's going to hurt a lot. And you can get sick. So you have to get that milk out to make sure you don't get a fever and you're not going to get hospitalized because it can get very dangerous. So what I did was I would give her more on the right side. While I was feeding her on the right side, I would put a pump on the left side, make sure it empties out completely and it doesn't dry up. So when, you know, her head is okay again, she can start latching on on this side. It is a struggle, but I try to make it work the best I can. Preferably, um, you know, I like for her to breastfeed at both breasts at, you know, one, 10 minutes on this side, 10 minutes on the other side. That is what Daisy did. But Sky is full with just one breast. So I do, to, um, let's say at 10 o'clock she gets one breast and then at 12 o'clock she gets the other breast. So she is still feeding every two hours. Next question. Um, how many times a day does she breastfeed? She feeds every two hours. At night it could go to three to four hours. So during the day it's every two hours. She does not skip her feeding time. She is very on point with that. And at night, every three to four hours, it depends. Um, what can you replace breast, breast milk with if you don't want to breastfeed? You can use formula. Um, you just have to try and figure out which one works best for your baby. Some formulas can give your baby gas. And then you just have to switch to another one and see which one works out the best for you. Do your boobs get really saggy when breastfeeding? <laughs> Um, no, they don't get they don't get saggy when I'm breastfeeding. They will get saggy afterwards, okay? But it's worth it. That's what they're made for, and so that's if that is what I have to do. That's what I'll do. If they get saggy, I'll just go to Colombia and come back, and you know they will be nice again. Does it tickle? No, girl, it doesn't tickle. It hurts in the beginning, and then afterwards, it doesn't tickle. What to avoid while breastfeeding? The obvious, just avoid drugs, avoid alcohol, avoid pops, you know, pop sodas with gas because the baby will get gas, avoid foods that can cause gas like bananas, beans, avoid coffee, what else? It's quite a list, but yeah, it's worth it. It's just for a few months and then you can go all out again. I miss alcohol. Believe me, I do. But, you know, it's for my baby. What is important to eat and drink during breastfeeding? It is important, you know, how I do it. It's important to um, drink a lot of water. Make sure you're hydrated because obviously your body needs the fluids to produce breast milk. So what I do is every time I breastfeed, I make sure I drink a glass of water and um eat just eat you know eat healthy don't eat too much too much fats too much fast food that's not good and also continue to drink your prenatal vitamins does gray in mind you posting breastfeeding posts with your chest out no he doesn't because that's what they're made for if he thinks it's okay for me to post pictures in a bikini you know, with my breasts all showing and stuff and nipples showing, then I'm sure your boyfriend will be okay with you posting your, bet, your breasts for breastfeeding because that's what they were made for. Um, are you comfortable with breastfeeding in public? Yes, I am. And if someone that sees me is not comfortable with, in, with it, then just, you know, walk away, mind your own business because I will do it with or without your consent. If my child is hungry, then she should eat. And if it's okay for someone to feed their baby with a bottle, then it's okay to feed your baby with your breasts. Um, how do you know if the baby has eaten enough? Because you can't measure your breast milk. That is a good one. Um, a lot of the times when the baby latches on, they are very stiff, you know, because they're hungry. Um, and they usually have their hands balled up in a fist. When they're full, you will realize you you will feel that your baby is relaxed and their hands are loose and a lot of the times when they are full they will just let go of your breast or fall asleep till what age did you breastfeed days and are you planning to breastfeed sky 
um, days wanted to breastfeed until eight months old so that's when we stopped and I wasn't producing enough breast milk by that time so we just decided to stop I would pump every night to make sure everything is out and I switched over to formula first I started with half breast milk and half formula and then I went full to formula and with Sky, I will continue to breastfeed hopefully until she's one and then I will stop um, you know, obviously it's great to continue, you know, the longest possible, but I just don't want a big ass child on my breast. <laughs> did I get postpartum depression? I did not. I'm very happy I did not. I did a lot of research on it because I was very scared that, you know, what if it happens? And if it does happen, I wanted to be prepared. So I did a lot of research. I did not get um, postpartum depression. What I did get with days was postpartum anxiety, um, which I have explained once on my Instagram. It's just um, anxiety of everything. Like I would be scared if Graham leaves the house and I would already start thinking like, what if he doesn't come back? and days i think this is something a lot of parents do but with days every time i put him to sleep i would just like um i would just grab him to see if he was breathing i would do that every 10 minutes every 15 minutes just to make sure he was breathing because i was scared that he was gonna die <laughs> i don't know why um yeah that was some of the anxiety i had i didn't want to leave him ever um one time i had to leave him and go to Miami for four days. I had a lot of panic attacks, a lot of anxiety. I couldn't breathe. Obviously, I had to get over those four days. And when I got back, I was way more relaxed. And that's when I realized those were panic attacks. And with Sky, just because that happened, I cannot leave her. Um, that's why you guys always see her in the vlog with me. It's just a, an anxiety that I have. It'll go away after a few months, but it is pretty bad are you a housewife right now i am i'm not working i'm with the kids at home all day this does not go to school yet he will start this august and um when he starts i will put sky in daycare just so i can have some time for myself and also i want to start working on a few things for our youtube channel also with merch youtube channels and a lot of other things that we have planned i need the time for that so that's why they will go to school and daycare how do i plan my day with the kids well we start with waking up i let them wake up whenever they want to usually days wakes up at 10 and sky also so i'm very lucky with that i don't have kids that wake up at 6 um, we wake up with um, breakfast, obviously. They will watch some TV. When breakfast is over, it's playtime, I will turn the TV off and then we will all just sit on the floor and play. Sky will also play. And then it's, I will tr I tr I'm trying to make it nap time for Sky at 2, but it's not always working out yet. Um, we eat, Dace takes a shower, and then around 5-ish, we leave the house to do some errands and come back. Then it's nighttime, eating, reading a book, and go to sleep. So it's pretty simple. How do you feel about your new body? This is a good question. Um, I think a lot of people assume that just because I'm skinny again, that I should be fine with my body and the only people that are allowed to not feel fine with their bodies are people who have major stretch marks and you know major changes which is not fair um, with this my body got back to its old self really quick the only thing that I didn't like about my new body was that my breasts were even smaller than before after breastfeeding that is one of the main reasons i think why i stopped posting on instagram because i just couldn't find the clothes that you know matched my new body i didn't know how to handle not having breasts and i will try to you know do better with that this time obviously after you breastfeed 
your breasts just get way smaller but i'll try to adjust to that and with sky i did get some stretch marks but they are not that obvious right now the first time i saw them was when i just gave birth and when you just give birth your belly is very dark it's almost black and my stretch marks are white so you can see them very clear very clearly but right now that my belly is back to its old color you barely see them and i'm okay with it but i think even if i did have obvious obvious stretch marks i would just try to show them as much as i could because I, I don't want to be that person that is ashamed of her belly and not wear bikinis or not wear crop tops just because I have stretch marks. Those are just my tiger stripes, those are my mom stripes and I'm very proud of them. But it took me some time to get there. Give advice for young mothers. What I would say is just trust your mommy instinct. I got a lot of people asking me questions about what to do in certain you know certain things that happen just trust your mommy instincts you know you're all you're you're right you know every child is different if i tell you you know you have to you have to give your baby this formula because my baby does it doesn't have to be right you know your baby may not like this formula or your baby may not like the same diapers that my baby do maybe your baby is allergic you just have to change and adapt to your baby don't let old people tell you what to do because people like to do that moms are very overprotective of their grandchildren and they think like they know everything better well i'm sorry you guys don't just do whatever you want with your baby it's your kid if you are grown up enough to make that kid you are grown up enough to take care of it and make your own decisions and i know you can it is not that hard. Just trust your instinct and go for it. Someone said brushing their teeth. Any tips? I know this is hard for a lot of people, but what I did is since the day they are born, I will wash their mouth with a washcloth or um, there's this plastic thing you put on your finger and it has like this um, silicone little brushes on them and I clean Sky's mouth with it. And I think that they just get used to something in their mouth every day that when it is time for the actual um, brushing their teeth, they don't mind. Dace loves it. Um, Sky doesn't, she doesn't mind anything. She takes my finger and puts it in her mouth herself. So I think they just need to get used to it. If you've never cleaned their mouth when they were baby, they will probably you know not like it but you just have to find something that includes them in it maybe give them the toothbrush first and let them do it with you and then when they're done you just ask them for the toothbrush back and then you clean it good i don't know you have to try something that works for you what works for me was just you know making sure they got used to something in their mouth when I have to clean them and I never had any issues. And on top of that, every issue you have, Google is your best friend when you're a parent. So yeah, those were some of the questions. If I didn't answer your question, just comment in the comment section below if you guys want another Q&A. But there were a lot of questions and I tried to answer the most I could. And my answers are not one of a professional because I'm not, I'm just a regular mommy. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next week. Bye.